Hello and welcome to a new video. This video is mainly about API security testing. We are going to use two popular open source tools, uh, Postman and WaspZap, which is also known as a Zap proxy, to accomplish this. The idea is to send API requests from Postman to WaspZap to be able to start automated pen testing. Let's get started. First, we are going to open Postman. I have an existing collection for a vulnerable API called Vampire. This is a vulnerable API for, teach, for learning security testing. Uh, let's make sure that it's working. We can try to retrieve users. Yes, this is uh, running locally using Docker. Then I'm going to open uh, that proxy. Okay, the point here is we are going to send uh, the requests from Postman to WaspZap as there is no more functional way to do this from that itself. If you don't have the Weedle uh, for the APIs, you, you are not going to, you, you will not be allowed to do this, to import the requests to, to the proxy to start uh, automated tests. So the point here is to send the requests from Postman to Zap, and then we can uh, do the spider and then we can do some attacks. So let's get started. Before we do, we have, we, we should check the proxy values for, for Zap. If you can check the proxy. And we can find a thing called local proxies. Okay, so because I'm using Mac, this is the address for the loop pack or the local host. Uh, and this is the port. This is an 8080 port. So what I'm going to do is I will go to um, Postman and put the same values for for this proxy on the Postman settings. So I can so this will let me. Uh, be able to send requests from from Postman to that. So we, let's check this again. This is the 0 .0 .0 .0. This is a local host and 8080. In case of Windows, you can find this as a local host or a 127.0.0.1. Uh, .0 okay, let's go to Postman. We can go to Postman. Uh, preferences and then proxy. As you can see, we are using system proxy. Now we will, are going to check add custom proxy configuration. We can use this here as a local host or 0 to 0 to 0 to 0, whatever. Um, we can try with this. When I start sending requests, this request should land to should land in WhatsApp. So let, let's try. I go to retrieve all users and then send. If, as you can see, we have here a get request. The same request we send that we have sent on Postman. It's now on on that. We can try another one that retrieve all user details. As you can see now, we have another one. Uh, let's try one of the posts like uh, login to login user. Okay, when you get this error, this is intentional. If you have the, the failed uh, request, when you send a post request, there is a workaround on, um, as, as you see, as you can see here first, uh, this is here, this is landed on the app as a get request, not as a post request. So we are going to delete this. And let's try this workaround. Uh, if you go to the settings for this specifically API, you can find uh, find an option that follow original HTTP method is off. If you turn it on and you try it again, if I saved and then uh, returned again to the body and do the send, this time the send is successfully and he'll it landed here as a post request, not at a get. So you you have to make sure uh, or you can you can check this before you send any post request and the same for any other post request if you want to register a new user that's a try here as a test two and the test three 
uh, if I send this is successfully uh, registered and there you can see that supposed to register is here uh, if this is all the every everything I want to try in that itself you can find the, the in the hierarchy the main folder which is the domain uh, for the application um, the, the local application I'm using the vampire we can have we can do here a right click attack and then we can select spider after this what's happening it's it's try to spider the directory to find any more um, apis and then if it now it's completed and here in alerts you can find what vulnerability already discovered we can right click attack and then select active scan and after, and here you are starting an automating pandas by this you are not discovering everything because you can do some manual uh, specific attacks like in the login you can we can try let me show you this you can try to add a custom request if i go to the go to the request here you can check it, one of the of the parameters maybe the username and then you can select fuzz and then we can we can add a payload you can do add we can check from the we have a file fuzzers we have a fuzz db this one of um, attacks we want attack we want this is the login we can try a sql injection attack or or to be specific sql injection patent okay we selected an um a SQL injection attack. If I press add and then OK, and then start further, we are going to try only the username of SQL injection attacks or be more specific SQL injection patterns. And this can, can give you more of, uh, it, this can help you discover more vulnerabilities. The active scan is still in progress. The fuzz is done. And in the alerts, you can see uh, what's already found for this um, from this attacks? Um, some of them maybe uh, one way, one way, what we call a false positive. But this will help you do a security testing for your APIs uh, more earlier than during or during the development or during the, the the normal testing to save some time and discover this more early. Hope you find this. Hope you hope you find this useful. Uh, yeah, and see you in another video.